Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim, and welcome to my workbench. I had mentioned on previous X-Wing videos that I was going to show you how to take apart an X-Wing. And I as I was preparing the video for the 1995 Tonka release, uh, it wasn't working like it should. And so I'm going to take this apart and see what exactly is wrong with it. Because it had been working, the electronics, and now they're not. So if you decide to disassemble this ship for whatever reason, uh, maybe the wings are broken, maybe the electronics are work, aren't working, uh, it's the same disassembly for every single vintage uh, X-Wing produced by Kenner and the early ones produced by Hasbro. Not the larger versions, but this version produced in 1995 and then the 2004 version. So let's go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> well, for starters, there are five screws on all of the X-Wings that you need to take them apart. So we have one here that I've already started. And uh, it's nice to have a little dish here for your parts. This screw happens to be to a <coughs> Hot Wheels supercharger that <coughs> I took apart and rebuilt. You have two on the engines here. And they are Phillips. Um, I'm using just a slotted screwdriver <coughs> just because that works just fine. Now I guess I should demo what well, right now now it's working but it was working really intermittently. All right well we'll go ahead and take it apart anyway. And we'll show you how to make some decent repairs. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? It just works out just fine. Now this rear portion, uh, just be really careful with that because the speaker is in the back here. There is not a speaker on the uh, on the Kenner releases. All right, so we have a little nose cone thing here. This one has a flat washer embedded in the. Uh, in the nut or in the screw rather and let's see I think we'll use this one nope I don't need that one so you need two different size screwdrivers for these on this 1995 Tonka release now the Kenner ones they're all uniform sometimes there isn't one here in the Kenner version so you notice that I I removed uh, I'm going to I'm going to remove the canopy here very shortly all right, we pop that open. Now I'm going to take this off. You want to be careful when you do that because there are wires attached. Uh, if you do happen to wreck a speaker, uh, there are plenty of these speakers available. It's like half of a watt. I have a whole box of them that I purchased just for, uh, well, because I ruined one. Let's, let's just put it that way. All right, so now we're into the innards of the ship. <coughs> And uh, we'll take out the two batteries here. Now the next thing to do is to get rid of this little spring mechanism. Many times this R2 will be cracked. Let's see if I have a version of that here. Yeah, I do. So it'll look something like this. And if it is cracked, it's oftentimes because... Now we're, we're, we're talking the vintage ones. Uh, see, see that there's four screws here? And I'll zoom in, and that way you can see those four screws. See those four screws? Oftentimes, uh, the wings are broken because it's getting inadequate. Uh, it's it, There's too much pressure put on the wings when you try to pop the wings open like so. And so, oftentimes, this uh, right side top wing will be broken on many of the ships. So, I believe that uh, Hasbro had the four screws. I don't recall. Uh, if I've added these or not, but I think they did. Kenner did not, oftentimes. And so, if you have a vintage Kenner ship, uh, add some extra screws, definitely, to that. And that, and th that will save the wings. <clears throat> now, the next piece, of course, is the nose gear here, and that's just going to flop. Uh, now, in order to replace R2, uh, you need to get into the, the inside here. And so, that means we need to take these four screws out. And they are silver. They are different than the outside ones. So we'll remove those. And uh, the disassembly goes really pretty fast. 
on these ships. It's also nice to have a little magnet to help grip these things once you got them loose and then to help line things up back. So here we have the circuit board to the X-Wing, the 1995 X-Wing. This is the only one that has it, by the way, that I know of. Uh, the 2004 did not even have any electronics whatsoever. So there's a switch right underneath here, just a little momentary switch underneath this, uh, <coughs> this metal tab. And this metal tab is just riveted in place. When that presses down from the wing pressure going up, or when the wings go up, uh, that causes the engine sound. And then underneath is where the momentary switch for the guns are. And uh, I've tapped into this before with some of the customs that I've done, and I'll, I'll show you that at a, another time. But uh, it looks like there's some corrosion here. And so I'm going to uh, zoom out just a bit and go ahead and clean that up with the Dremel. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the batteries and put them in again. And let's see, do I have the right way? Eh, can't really tell. Okay. Let's find out. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. I'm going to press that in. Let's see if we got it. Looks pretty good. Okay. Now, I, I doubt that anyone has ever gotten into your ships, but if you need to clean things up, now you know what to do. And then it's just basically putting things back together again. All right. Now, what happens if R2 needs to be fixed? This is a little bit bigger project. And uh, this is one, again, that I've gotten into. You can see that I replaced the tab here. This tab was on the wings, and I didn't think it served a purpose. And I, then I realized, oh, that's supposed to lock in for the, for the push button. So I had to change that out. But what you end up doing is you take out this bar right here, and then that loosens things up. This is hard to get out because of that tab. And... Uh, I must have had to replace R2 in this, is, the, is what I had to do. So basically what you do is you shove that through here. And then you have to try to get it out of this one here. And that snapped out. Oh, it snapped out surprisingly easy. Sometimes they're really hard to get out. Now you have to get it out through the other wing. We'll go through the second one here. There we go. And... Try to get that out without breaking that tab. That's going to be the very challenge. Okay. That there. All right, here we are. And now R2 is totally disassembled, or the, the wing area. There's a small Phillips screw right in there. And 
and we'll unscrew that. Now sometimes this spring shaft happens to be broken. That goes into R2. So you'll see that there is a square on the inside of that and that's to fit into the square hole in here. <clears throat> now on my glass leet X-Wing, this happened to be broken on as well as the square inside R2. And I've seen this in many vintage ones. <clears throat> you can try to fix it back together, but it, it you got a 50-50 shot of it being successful. Uh, see if I can find, yeah, so here, here's an example of one that, that was broken. So all you need to do is if the broken tab is lined up this way, let's say that your R2 is broken here, just reverse it and then reassemble things back together. That's all you got to do. So we're going to go ahead and reassemble this now that you know what to do. And it's just a simple reinsert that, find the dowel. Now with the, this X-Wing, you want to make sure that that tab is pointed the right way. So it's going to have to be pointed so that way it's going to be hitting that, that, that button there. So it's going to have to go on the right side. All right, we will take this screw and I'm going to magnetize it. No, nah, it's going to stay on my screwdriver. Then lock that thing into place. Now don't forget to put the spring back in. That's going to be all that important. And then it's just reassembling everything back together. Well, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you do. And uh, we'll see you at another time. Uh, for the video on the 1995 Tonka X-Wing. Bye.